Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. And today I'll be reading a multi-character listener by me. So let's get into it. Midori Izuku. Now Midori would never really make a cry on purpose, but he had given you something to read. A book that you loved very dearly. And since you loved him and took a part in his interests, it meant that you would care about this book by default. He wanted to know what he was reading and what he thought of. So that any of you could discuss the events of the book and spend some time together. It was nice to do that every once in a while. But it turns out the book was so sad that as soon as you were done with it, you started crying. But they didn't get their happy ending. You cried softly. And Midoriya was alarmed at first. Before he felt a soft smile bloom into his face, a fond one, as he wrapped you in his arms and cradled you. And that's all right. Not everyone gets their happy ending, Wayan. But I'm sure that better things will happen to the protagonist in the future. He tells you. And though it's not the best, it's surely comforting enough. The two of you then discuss the events of the book and the characters, and the things that you wish could have happened. He likes your ideas, and with all his enthusiasm, it's quite easy to forget the horrible ending, and all the crying that you were doing a couple moments ago. As you hold on to him, and Minora strokes your hair gently, giving you a soft kiss on the cheek. You know, Ayan, you're so sweet. I'm sure if there was a story about you, you would still be able to get your happy ending. Why is that? Because you're strong and determined, and I think you'll still get what you want no matter what happens. He says, looking at you with such a bright look in his eye, like he fully believed in you. It almost made you want to cry again, but you only kissed him, because that was enough crying for today. You were just happy to have someone like him in your life. Todoroki Shoto. Now, Todoroki would never make you cry on purpose, but maybe he said something that you didn't want to hear. Or maybe he said something that was so true, something that you asked him about. That hurts you, and not in the usual way. You're asking him about his past, how things were, before he came here to UA. You know, his daily life. And he told you since you were partners, about the way things were, how his father treated him, how he was not allowed to play with his siblings, how his mother was hospitalized. And you kept going on and on. There was so much that you couldn't help but cry. He went through a lot. Like, a lot. And it scared you just how much he went through. How he had to go through all of that. Just to live. A usual day. The way his father would always hurt him to train him. It was too much. It was not his fault because he asked to hear it. But you could still just not help yourself. You were tearing up. And you hugged him tightly. Why on? Did I... Did I say something wrong? He asked. A little bit hesitant and nervous. But you immediately shook your head. Wrapping your arms tight around him. And leaning up to kiss his cheek. No, Shoto. You haven't done anything wrong at all. Please don't worry about that. I'll... I'll be fine. He said as you wiped at your eyes. Trying to make the tears go away. He needed to be strong for him. Not a crybaby like this. That was certainly not what anyone would need. During a time where they probably deserved to be comforted. You didn't know if you would need that comfort. At least in the usual way. But you had to offer it either way. Because you deserved it. 
he had to know that you'll be there with him. And things like that, they won't happen anymore. Not as long as you're around. And as long as everyone, you and his friends, loved and cared about him as they did today. And you knew very well that you and everyone would never stop caring about him, no matter what happens. Bakugo Katsuki, he could easily make anyone cry. That much was a talent of his, and not a good one, at all. You see, you were trying on clothes, and there was a dress that you bought, that you were sure it looked good on you. And you put it on, showing it to him. He stared at first, and you were not sure if that was a good reaction or not. And you had no idea what to do or say. So after a little bit, you started fidgeting. What do you think, Hatsu? You asked, nervous. But then he just scowls at you. I think you should just get it off of you and put it in your wardrobe and never wear it again. And that makes you cry, all right. Why is he being so mean? You had no idea. But as soon as you started to cry, his eyes widened in realization as he put a hand to his face. Like he had said something wrong. Damn it. I didn't mean to. Wait, please. He said, walking over to you and grabbing you by the arm. Just let me talk to you. You said I looked awful. I didn't say that. But you kind of did anyway. You said through tears. Angry. And then, he cupped your face in his hands and kissed you. And at first you tried to pull away, but then you found yourself melting into it, as you always did. I was just, I don't want you to go out with it, that's all. You look too good in it, Wyan. I don't want anyone seeing you like that. You blushed brightly, shocked. Do you really mean it? Or are you just lying to get me to shut up? I'm gonna lie to you. Well, if you're right, then you did lie to me. That's besides the point. I'm not lying now. I promise you. And after looking into his eyes for a bit, you decide to believe. But you're still pouting. And he makes it up to you by getting you something sweet. Which is exactly what you wanted here. <laughs>